Hi there, I'm Hadik Magadia and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of uh, Whatnot's latest uh, no-code bot builder. So once you log into Whatnot and click on the bot builder icon here, uh, this is uh, what you'd see. So we call this the bot management screen because this is where you'll be managing all the bots of your business. And each bot can have its own purpose. As you see here, like uh, we have uh, our homepage bot, our pricing bot, page bot, we have a Facebook bot, our customer support bot on WhatsApp, etc. So likewise, even you can have different bots for your business. So now coming to like building bots, uh, we provide two ways for you to do so. So you can just click on the build a bot button and uh, the two ways in which you can build a bot. So firstly, if you're experienced like me, <laughs> you can simply hit on uh, build a from scratch and create from a blank canvas. Or if you haven't built a bot before, which is the case with a lot of our customers, you do not need to worry because we've got you covered. You can simply uh, click on this and uh, you'll find a library of curated templates that our team has uh, developed and you can choose it and build from there. Now in this uh, video, I'll just uh, build a bot from scratch and walk you through the process. So once you uh, do that, we first ask you like for which channel are you going to build this bot? So let's say web in this case. Well, now you're looking at the board builder canvas. This is where you will design and structure what your board does. Before I show you how a board is made, it's important that we learn about what a board is. Now a board is nothing but a set of dialogues structured on some rules. It's like your typical Lego toy wherein you'd use multiple different kinds of blocks of different shapes and colors and sizes. And in the end, if everything went correctly, you would have made a beautiful structure. That's exactly how you will be building bots using Whatnot's no code bot builder. In our case, each block is known as an action block. Why you'd ask? Because each block performs a specific action. That's why we call it an action block. It can be anything from uh, informative message, sending an informative message, collecting their emails, or showing a carousel of your products or services, etc., etc. And to configure what a blog does is you need to simply click on it and you can configure or see its configuration options in this panel here. And we call it the right panel, obviously, because it opens from the right. But um, what you'll find common across all the action blocks is that we have something called as a block title. Since when while building bots, you will have a lot of blocks here and it can be hard for you to know what block, what a block does unless you open the configuration or the right panel. So instead you can just uh, type something which can uh, help you understand like rather than opening each the block every time so that it is easier for you to navigate and make your bot. Now let's look at a few action blocks and uh, quickly create a bot. Now what do you see here? Like uh, when I created this bot, uh, the, there was this uh, action block which was already here when we had created it. So this is called a trigger block. So uh, since you'll be having multiple bots, there always has to be that one condition that triggers a bot. So in what note you can uh, have three conditions to trigger this bot here. So uh, those conditions are, uh, let's say, a uh, date range. So let's take up a scenario where uh, on Christmas, you want to greet your visitors with Merry Christmas and talk about a special offer. So you can simply select your date here and uh, this bot will only be triggered on this particular date range. Otherwise, it'll have your default bot out there. Second, you can choose uh, a browser language. So if you're an international company, you can have uh, different bots uh, speaking in different languages for people coming in from different countries. So let's say uh, someone coming from Saudi Arabia. So you can just keep Arabic. So if someone is coming uh, to your website with uh, their browser language as Arabic, this bot will be triggered and then you can define that conversation flow accordingly. And lastly, we have URLs. So like us, you can uh, you can place different bots for different pages so that uh, the bot is in context to what your visitors are seeing simply. And yeah, 
So that's how you can include the URLs and the bot will be triggered for those particular URLs. Now to add blocks, simply click on uh, the plus button here and once you do that, we show you a list of uh, over 20 plus action blocks that Whatnot provides. And what's unique about this is that uh, each uh, block has its own UI. So uh, if you're choosing buttons, you have a physical button on that bot. If you're having send message, then it's a normal text. Uh, similarly, you have different blocks to choose from and each of it has its own configuration panel and its own UI. So in our case, let's just start by greeting the visitor. So I'll just change this block title to greeting the visitor. And let's start by saying, hi, my name is Spectre. And we want to make this uh, bot a bit more cooler. So rather than just having text, we will also add a GIF. So I'll just click on upload and choose a GIF here. So yeah, that will be uploaded in a while. And yeah, you can see the GIF here. So and you can always reorder your uh, blocks as in how you please, so that uh, it's perfect according to your liking. And next, let's uh, try to collect uh, the user's uh, input. So in our case, uh, let's try to collect your email address, because that's pretty common. I'll uh, change this block here to collect email. So my question is, what is your email address? So uh, for we, we can decide like what kind of validation do you want to keep? So in our case, since this is an email, we have a pre-built uh, validation for email. I'll just choose that. And what shall I keep as the error message in case someone has given a fake email or something which is not uh, of an email structure. So I just say, please enter a valid email address. I can def define how many retry terms do I want to allow and uh, whatever input the user gives will be stored in this variable. And then I can use these variables later on in the conversation flow to make it more interactive. Now uh, you added these conversations. Now let's just end it and uh, test this bot out. So in order to end a conversation flow, because everything has to end somewhere, right? And similarly, in our uh, bot builders, you just need to use the end dialog type. So you just click on end here and configure what that end block does. And they say this is the end. End of the flow, and that's it. Now let's give this a name. So let's say this is an example bot. And everything is saved in real time. So we use auto save. So you don't have to manually hit save or hit control S. We do it automatically for you whenever you make any change. Now once you have done with designing the flow of your bot, you can test it out using the preview button here. So the bot will be publicly visible on your website to all your visitors. So it's best to test it out first, right? So clicking on this will open a pop-up window with the bot. So here we'll have our trash bot and when I click on it, we'll have the flow that I have created here. So in our case, we just started with the greeting message, we showed a GIF and we asked for an email address. So first let's try putting a fake email address like fake. Now I'll try and correct me. Now let's put a valid one and it'll accept it. And it has ended the flow. So that's about preview. And once you have done uh, previewing the bot and made any minor changes that you would feel, you can click on deploy. So deploying the bot will uh, deploy this whole conversation flow so that the next time someone speaks with your bot on your website or any other channel, it'll have the new flow. So let me just click this. And you get a message saying that the bot has been deployed successfully. Great. Now you have deployed your bot. Now, to help you during this whole uh, life cycle of designing and building a bot, we have some really cool utility tools, so as you see here. So firstly, uh, to start off with, we have the expanded and collapsed view. So as you see here, we show a two line description of uh, what that message is. So in case if you don't want that and you are pretty much good with uh, the block title itself, you can hide that by using the expanded or compressed view. So that way you have uh, more space in the canvas and fit more blocks. So that's what uh, compression expanded view does. 
you have undo and redo which undoes and redoes any uh, particular action that you have performed and you have zoom in zoom out because the can canvas will be filled with the conversation flow once you're making a proper one right so in our demo it was very small so it fit but once you are making a board for your business that can get a bit longer and it can be hard to like view all the blocks at once so you can just use zoom in or zoom out to like find the block and navigate through and lastly coming to our coolest feature which is version control now chatbot being a tool that assists both our marketing and sales team you always keep experimenting with new things right now and then we know how important it is to manage these versions uh, of the chatbot flow and to help you easily manage all the your versions what node has created this version control you can simply click on it and you'll find the list of all the versions that you have created so in uh, this case it's just one but just to show you more versions i have another bot here and you'll find all the historical versions that you have deployed previously uh, uh, to go back to any older version you can simply click on that version and you'll have confirmation mode and once you click confirm this the canvas of that older version deployment will be shown here in real time so yeah that's pretty much it uh, <laughs> Hope uh, this video helped you understand uh, how to use a board builder. And in case you have uh, any questions or any confusion, you can feel free to like click on our help desk icon here, and you will be redirected to our help desk portal where you can find articles uh, which can help answer uh, the problems or the challenges that you're facing. And in case that does not help, you can just use uh, you can just raise the request, and one of our executives will get back to you soon. And in case you have not signed up yet to whatnot. I will add a, a link to the description below and we look forward to seeing you build uh, some cool bots for your business.